Hey guys. All right. So we were on our way to go talk to Rickert before we headed down to Blighttown. And uh, let's go do that. I will probably warp back up out of here, so... Hang on. Is that a sorcery ember? Oh, I've never seen one like that. Not even back in Vinheim. What a brilliant flame. Please, friend, let me have that. I am begging you. I am a craftsman of Vinheim. I'd go hollow before I pass on a flame like that. So yeah, I mean, this is a... This is an ember of Ulusil, not of Vinheim or any modern source of magic. Um, so yeah, he would have never seen anything like this, and he would be fascinated by it, so... Oh, really? You are wonderful. I will forge a wicked masterpiece just for you. A weapon to make a legend out of it. Hmm? What is it? It's not <laughs> There's nothing to talk about, eh? Come back soon. All right. Smith. Yeah, he doesn't say anything. Unfortunately. But I guess we don't have to do this. Uh, we uh, we now have the ability to warp. Although I don't know, it might be six of one, half a dozen of the other, because we are either going to warp down to the the fair lady and then run all the way through or we're just gonna come here and run all the way through uh, so I don't know maybe it's I do think it's probably quicker to do that way but um, The guy fell down there and dropped his item. I hope it wasn't like <laughs> a pickaxe or his large club or whatever. But yeah, you can see already there's someone else here. Two people actually. Hello again. Strange to meet a wave. Okay. Hello again. Strange to meet a wave from the clan and the forest. But while you are here, how about some equipment? So I love collecting these things. But I can only keep so many. These and are some rare you weapons. Know, you are a friend. I'll sell them cheap. I mean, they're not rare in the game because you can buy them from him, but. <laughs> so, again, I th think th this is certainly a, a lore based one. Um, you know, you're at the bottom of the world. I mean, I guess you go lower to Izalith, but I mean, it's like, look skyward, makes sense. Anyway, so he has some cool weapons here. So, the Flame Burge, uh, had by, uh, held by those man serpents. So, let's read about that. The great, this great sword of an un, undulating blade is the choice weapon of the slithering serpent men of Sun's Fortress. This weapon is designed to flay the skin and cause heavy bleeding, which is how I died a bunch of times. The stone knights who guard the dark root guardian wield this moss covered great sword. I think we got this. The same magic which created the stone knights is imbued in the sword, yeah. Then we have the demon machete. This is the thing. Oh yeah, the lesser capper demons use these great swords in pairs. The blade is cast iron and hooked. The sword is imbued with no particular magic, but for those who have the strength, it's a great way to smash its foe mercilessly. It's funny how they say the lesser capper demons, you know, because we've only 
encountered one now, but um, we certainly will meet more. Um, Shotel, which we we got before. Uchi, that's where you'd get this without killing someone, but I didn't want to, you know, wait this long. Washing pole. Katana forged in an eastern land. Very unusual specimen with a long blade. The blade is extremely long, but as a result, it is quite easily broken. I do like the washing pole, but what's its base damage? 90, 90, and it has less scaling. So, I mean, not worth getting, but it's cool. It's like really long. You can hit people from far away. Demon's Great Axe. Carved from the bones of fellow demons. Wielded by the lesser Taurus demons. Again, we've only seen the one, but we'll meet more Taurus demons. This axe can be with no special power. Claw. A weapon formed by three sharp claws. Causes bleeding, and the wounds afflicted are not easily mended. Preferred weapon of the spooks of an eastern land. Demon spear. Here we go. Carved from the bones of fellow demons, wielded by the slim, lesser, bat-winged demons. The weapon of these chaos demons wandering in Orlando are different from those of other chaos demons and are imbued with lightning. So, again, I don't know how much of a lore thing, like, I don't know other connections you can make. It's just a point that the those, like, gargoyle-ish things that brought us to Orlando and we fight that have the demon spear... Those are called the Batwing Demons, and they are Chaos Demons, but they are not associated with Flame. There's that, and then we have the East Wood Green Ring. This special ring crafted in an Eastern land is made of gold, but with a wood green crest on its surface. Which is a funny thing to do with a, <laughs> a ring. The ring show, slows the loss of weapon durability and is particularly useful for bears of delicate swords crafted in the East. Um, not worth it to, to buy it. Um, in fact, I don't know if I'm getting any of these, so I feel like I should just kill these guys now. Eh. I'll, 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 I'll kill them later. Um, okay. Make our typical stop to Quelana as usual. Might as well. Ah, I was expecting you. Hmm, I have a favor to my mother. Okay, okay. But my Just I, making sure. I cannot. But you, I really. No luck. Alright. Hopefully, we could do. I mean, hopefully, we have no more triggers to bring. I hope we brought uh, Sieg Siegmeier down here. I keep wanting to say Siegward. Okay. should be able to see him at this point. Can't remember which. Oh, there he is. Great. Oh. I want to make sure we have enough. Okay, yeah, we have plenty. We need three uh, moss clumps. Regular moss clumps. To, like, get him along. Only someone like Siegmeier would fall asleep in Blighttown. Mm -hmm. Oh ho! Excuse me, I was so absorbed in thought I just drifted away. You see, I'm actually in a bit of a fix. I've made it this far, but I'm short on antidote moss for the trip back. Um, by my knighthood, I'm ashamed to ask, but can you spare a few scraps of moss? For you, I'll give you anything. Fantastic. Thank you. A saint you are. This knight of Katarina expresses his deepest gratitude. I shall not forget this. Please, take this. A symbol of my appreciation. Yes. Pierce well, seal. 
Our fates do seem entwined, don't they? Perhaps this, too, is the will of Lord Gwyn. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, I mean, that's another indication that Siegmeier is a worshipper of Lord Gwyn. Perhaps this, too, is the will of Lord Gwyn. I don't believe there's any gods, Sigmeyer. Just no transcendence, just truth. The poison swamp, like quicksand in there. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I should be uh, putting on my rusted iron ring. The poison. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go into the Great Hollow, which we looked at before, but uh, now we're actually going to go down now that we can warp out. You know, traveling back up the Great Hollow is a pain. You can do it, but it's like not even worth it. So you pretty much should always wait until you... Uh, Until you can, uh, well, 400 souls. All right. Let's rest here. We don't need to kindle this. So there's nothing in here. Um, but yeah, let's, so there's a lot of items around here. I mean, the only one I really want to get is, is this the best way to get it? Is that too far of a drop? Let's see. We have to go directly into this. Thing right here. Oh, it's right there. I guess that is the way to go. Where do you like go down on this branch? Oh yeah, that's not that bad. Okay. Chloranthy ring. Now this ring certainly like has a big impact in the later games. Um, in the later game. It's a great ring, um, but it doesn't say much. This ancient ring, engraved with a large green flower, is of unknown origin. Hastens the regeneration of stamina. I think the way that it was used in the Dark Souls 3, um, for lore reasons, uh, was disappointing to some people. By the way, we didn't see these much in the, uh, Sorry, I don't want to get cursed. We didn't see those much in the uh, in the depths or anything, but you, when someone online play item thing is when someone gets petrified or cursed, that you, they appear in other people's games as statues. Uh, yeah. So as I was saying earlier, there's there's a ton of items here, and I really don't. I mean, they're all like chunks and. You know, red chunks and whatever. I mean, if 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 you were trying to build, you know, a specific weapon, probably more valuable to like, you know, make sure that you get everything. But the only thing I wanted to get for sure was that um, uh, crap. Um, was that a uh, ring? The chloranthy ring. I go this way. There's so many different ways to go, you know, depending on what items you want to get. Are you okay? I am definitely not standing on anything. Like I guess my toe is touching. Okay. Please. If this is gonna lead to my death, I swear. Okay. Free item. Let's grab it. White Titanite Chunk. Yeah, well, we don't need that. Ever. Okay. 
I'm sure there's like regular chunks in here too, but I mean, worst case scenario, like I'll farm them if I need, if I absolutely need to. But I can't get enough chunks to upgrade my one weapon that I want. Blue Titanite chunk. Um. What's the next way down? Here. All right. And then I guess we're just down. Okay. So yeah, there's one person that's been petrified in their game, cursed, and immortalized in my game. All right, where is the ladder? Yeah, there's holes everywhere here, and it's really annoying. You can definitely take a wrong step, and with these basilisks, it's no joke. Whoops. That probably wasn't a good jump to just haphazardly make. Great hollow. So yeah, I don't know if this is one of the arch trees for sure, but it certainly seems like, you know, it's like a significant, you know, it's significantly big and it's got all these crazy features to it, including these cool uh, mushrooms and stuff. Obviously they have the mushrooms themselves. I mean, here's another indication that uh, you know, the, the mushrooms are ancient beings down here with the arch trees. I mean, I don't think that they, like, I don't think they are older. Like, they obviously came afterwards, but, I mean, I think there's some semblance to their ancientness by them being around here. Also, um... There's a connection between um, what we find down here and Seath. So I think in this game, this is the only incidental music. Like, I guess there's Firelink Shrine, but. I love, like, look at this. From software's greatest kept secret. I mean, you know, the internet, everyone knows about this now, but I'm just saying, just as it stands, People didn't know about this. So this is like, uh, no, <laughs> I'm gonna try to fight this thing. I might die a couple times. So yeah, I mean, this is um, the way the world was before. Just crag trees. Arch trees. And all of those are as massive or bigger than this one. Anyway, we see the Hydra down here. We also see it in Dark Root Basin. Um, I think there's a reason for that. I might talk about it with the DLC, or even when we get to Seath. 
One thing I suppose we should show is that we can see they bothered to do the whole body of the Hydra. Well, lots of dragon scales down here, by the way. For a good reason. But we should show... I don't want to fight it over here, but they bothered to shoot the whole, make the whole body. to fight these guys right now. Oh god, can that get to me over here? Just want to fight you back in your normal location. There's another... I hope it comes back over. I've never really done this. When it spits out its magic that harms everyone here. That's what I'm talking about in general with like a sandbox game that enemies can hurt other enemies. It's definitely cool. But since it doesn't happen in this game, it happens for certain things. Oh, and now they're just fighting the clams. I'll say, well, okay. This is going to be fun. Whoa! <laughs> what I was going to say is that um, there's a Hydra by in Darkroot Basin, which was Ulusil. There's clams in um, Seath's domain. And there's something tying Seath to Darkroot Basin. So I think that these probably are significant creatures um, for a number of reasons, but I think they might hold the key to like sorcery. Oh my god! Three hits and that's not going to do it? This is going to be forever. Might as well kill the one and... Kill the one in Darker Basin first. Okay, I'm not gonna do this. I mean, this is probably just too much. For now. Too powerful. Alright. But anyway, let's check out... Let's check out what's down here in Ash Lake. This skull really fascinates me.
I don't know if it's a dragon. Because it could be. But uh, it's a very large skull. Indicates to me that there's quite a few things from the old times here, some of which we might not even know about. Oh, don't push me over. Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't realize how much of a final area this was. I mean, I've either I've come down here much later or like I've just never never had an issue with messing around in this place. And I mean, there's some good lore down here in the sense that it exists, but you know, besides the fact that it exists, there's only speculation on some other things, which you know we could talk about later. But so it's good to just have this here, know about it. We'll consider it for other things. There is obviously one other thing here that I'm trying to get to. Get your souls. Get out of here. Um, there's a couple things here, but I don't think there's anything lore related. Um, in this hollow. Um, maybe just do it because it's not seen very often. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good either. <laughs> it's like, get out of here. Uh, so yeah, there's this thing that's really tough to see. You're really tough to... Oh, God. It's not immediately apparent. I don't understand. That didn't meet my imminent death. But yeah, there's like this thing here, which... I don't know. If, if I saw that and I didn't know it, I'd just be like, Oh, I will die if I do that. But I think this just gets us like a soul. Like, I don't even think this is anything important. Oh, it is great magic barrier. Oh god, that's great. Oh my god, that's... Okay. Yeah, that's... That's definitely important. Uh, yeah, we're... Okay, there you go. Thank you. Um, yeah, Great Magic Barrier is... Um, that makes a lot of sense. So I think that, yeah, this is probably where Havel ended up. Or started. This trek. Please don't shoot me. I just want to get out of harm's way. By the way, yeah, what you what you find in um, what you find in the um, clams is purging stones and twinkling titanite. I think the uh, purging stones probably where they're farmed, like probably where anyone who sells them. Oh my. It's like, get far enough away, and, uh, and it, it couldn't possibly hit me. Well, let's read Great Magic Bear while I'm thinking of it. Miracle of Bishop Havel the Rock. Cover body and power to powerful defensive magic coating. Havel the Rock, an old battlefield compatriot of Lord Gwyn, was sworn 
enemy of Seath the Scaleless. He despised magic and made certain to devise means of counteraction. Miracles and... Oh, okay. Miracles and magics, aka sorcery, right? being different, of course. So yeah, you know, he's a friend of Gwyn's. Seath is a friend of Gwyn's. You know, it's kind of one of those things where... Um... I guess he was planning on doing battle with Seath, and, and and the fact that he and Seath have ties to this place is certainly interesting. Um, again, I can only speculate, and we might do that once we get some more information, of course. But for now, I don't really know if there's anything definitive in terms of what Havel's stuff down here means and what why there are you know, clams inside of the crystal caves and stuff like that. But for now, we're just going to sit back and be like, ooh, that's kind of cool. And that's it. I guess it got too close to me. Oh my god. Please don't kill me. When do I get too far away from you? Oh my god. Oh, just go. Just go. Get by in the hollows. And now, this is another reason I love this fucking game. There is an everlasting dragon. Similar to the ones, if not exactly the same as the ones. And you can see he is a keeper of a bonfire. She, I guess. Or maybe this is just a completely different thing. <laughs> um... But yeah, plus 10 here at this bonfire. I mean, she's a firekeeper. The horns are different, like, patterns. So the other interesting thing about this, of course, compared to the dragons we saw in the video, was that this has fur all over it. I don't really know what that's all about. But I'm going to uh, grab this great sword, and it's not going to complain. I'm still going to be able to pray to it, because every tile can be cut off. call dragon great sword this sword one of the rare dragon weapons came from the tail of the stone dragon of ash lake descendant of the ancient dragons its great mystical power will be unleashed when wielded by two hands um, I don't think we can wield that, but I certainly would be interested to see, like, some of these, you know, the lore implications come out from, like, what things look like and what they can do. 
That's cool. But I mean, without the effective. Yeah. That's probably a whole nother video, but. But anyway. Yeah. This is just awesome. Can't upgrade your Estes with her, though. All right. Let's see. We went down. We went to Blight Town. We came down Dash Lake. I got my ass whooped. And now... I guess we're going to go... to New Londo. Right? I think that's the only thing left. So... Let us uh, come back here. Of course, remembering to rest. And just in case... There's a trigger. Nope. Um, okay, we'll start here next time. And we'll talk about New Londo and its inhabitants and the, their ghosts and the sealers. And... Um, All that fun stuff. All right. Talk to you next time. Oh, I should level up too. Before I get too carried away. There we go, 40 decks. I think that's all I'll do for now. Cool, cool. All right, thanks for watching. See you next video.